Hello there once again, people. Dorkin96 here with another episode of Friggin' Negapower Volume 2. With the last episode... I can't remember. For A, it's been a while since I last played. I mean, I could go back and watch what happened. And also, right now I'm just way too distracted with what happened <laughs> in the world of hockey right now. For no one that really cares about hockey. I don't know. Maybe there might be some people that are both into hockey and anime. But right now, like, not... No more than 30 minutes ago. I just saw that freaking the stars just acquired Corey Perry from the Ducks. Now, I might, I don't know. It probably depends on, you know, if it's, oh man, that sounds cool, or no, that doesn't sound cool. But it's crazy because I'm a stars fan, and my younger brother is a Ducks fan. So seeing someone like Perry go from the Ducks to the stars, that is. It's gonna feel weird seeing him in a stars jersey. But anywho, sorry. Sorry, friggin' Ryan Getzloff. You and Perry are no moss. Sorry. Anyway, hockey news aside, let's let's get the fuck in here. What, what's? Why do I want to buy you? What? Yep, we're celebrating your bell. Oh yeah, I forgot. Well, duh. I just said that I forgot. Stupid. Uh, why don't you and Vanilla go both go pick out whatever you want? And then they come back with toys, as in no. Yes, I am indeed suave. What, is it me? Is the present me? It's your dip. Oh. What? Everything from tea to potato chips? I thought you were gonna be like, I just want you, Mastor. Yeah, I guess, but also... Uh, or maybe it is. I don't know. What, what is it? What do you want? Me? Still? Oh. Don't drain my bank account, please. What are you looking on Amazon? Amazon. No! Oh, okay, never mind. I was gonna say, for my pre previous purchases, don't look at my uh, one-fourth scale freaking coconut that I got. Oh, well, I got lucky there. Deal. No! No jewels. Oh. I'll keep that in mind for future reference. I'll shower you with love later on. Hey man, whatever makes you happy. Yes. Oh my gosh. Tuna. Oh please, no, not the expensive ones. What the fuck is that price? <laughs> what is that? That's, that's like 17 grand? Roughly ish? That is a stupid price. No. No. So long as you don't buy it, please. No, I'm not spending. Yeah, no. I say you could get whatever you wanted, but that's a little too expensive, don't you think? Seriously, do not order that. Give me a break. I'm giving those merciless cat girls a warning. They'd never dare order it. Right? Please. A hair's breadth? 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 Okay, well, then the skin of your teeth, or whatever, hair, should only apply to chocolate. No, don't push me in that direction. Don't push me in that direction, bro. Oh, I see. Also, I want to sneeze! Ah, damn, my god, everything sucks! I'm sorry! A whole tuna, huh? My little sister must have several times more wealth than my store does. Yeah, a friggin' small loan of a million dollars. When did this younger sister of mine get so scary? That is also true. Don't! I do not want to spend money on an industrial-sized frickin' refrigerator. 
sweet Jesus. I mean, probably in the long run, if we were to store all the, you know, all the food, then yeah, that'd be cool, but still. We'll save that for next time, I think. Exactly. I suddenly feel like her plaything. I don't know what I'd do with such a big refrigerator if she did end up buying one. Though it's scary to think that she might actually buy it for me if I asked. Well, would there be a catch if you ended up buying it? Pamper me with love. <laughs> They're starting to look at you as you're their master rather than me. Uh, speaking of, I was just about to say, and there's going to be two more editions after this. Uh, freaking uh, Volume 3 of Nekopara just came out for the PS4, and I already have that shit downloaded. So right after this, move on to Volume 3. And then Volume 4 was just announced too at, what, Anime Expo? Along with the Animu series, so that's going to be awesome as balls. I started to understand what you meant when you said that cat girls also have challenges growing up. I feel Shiguri in on what happened while she was gone. Oh, oh boy, I wonder what Volume 4 is gonna be like then, because I mean, we already have all the Nekos by that point. Are we actually gonna go after Shiguri? That, what, huh? I don't know. Is it gonna be a new person? What, eh? I guess I'll, we'll just have to find out. I'm pretty sure you don't give two fucks about what's going on, so long as I... No. What the hell do you mean by lady killer? Yeah. She smiles knowingly as she lifts her teacup to her mouth. I'm just doing what any family member would do. No one's gonna criticize me for that. As I ponder that thought, I take a sip from my own teacup. What is it? Hooray for polygamy in the animal world, because, you know, friggin' harems. Uh, I don't see the point. Yes, they don't monopolize. Yes, by Volume 3, I'll definitely have that. You're implanting these thought seeds into my brain, hole. Okay, okay, thank you. She sits across from me, grinning, leaving me no room to argue. Until recently, I've never imagined engaging cat girls into a relationship, but after getting romantically involved with Choco and Vanilla, I don't have a say anymore. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, whatever floats your boat. Different strokes for different folks. I still don't know what to say to her, and I turn my head away in embarrassment. What is it? What it? What did you do? Did you drain my account? I will end you. <laughs> Oh my god, what the fuck are you... What the hell is this? No. Screw you. I mean, I don't know. I might have enough of that, but that'll probably drain my ass so hard. Freaking 50 grand, roughly. Ugh. Shut up! I'm serious now. If you buy that, we'll go bankrupt. Give another strong warning to my two mischievous cat girls. I feel like this is just an exercise of futility. Don't hit send. Okay. See ya. Thanks for all your help. Okay. Okay, nice. What kind of taxi is it? No one cares. Text me when you make it home, okay? Even if you're taking a taxi home, I still worry. I'm smooth as butter. Also, why don't you take like a helicopter? Don't you? Aren't you rich enough to do that? 
I don't know. What We'll see what happens in Volume 4. I don't know what's going on with that. Also, sounds of the mic. Hmm? What do you mean? You know what she means, Kasho. Forget about it. No, we know. Okay, goodbye. Okay, goodbye. Again. I'm not trying to be cool or anything. As I grumble, Shiguri's taxi pulls out of sight. Yeah, I mean, same, same with me. I'm not trying to impress anyone or whatever, but I mean, I asked you to order pizza, but I didn't say to order ten. But friggin' you're you're loaded out the ass, bruh, out the wazoo. The next day, trophy urn, calm after the storm, which is the name of the episode that I did. <laughs> what? Can you suck my? Uh, uh, what was I? Oh yeah, friggin' the calm, calm after the storm. I I did calm before the storm for that CTR episode that I just uploaded. Still, what what else can you do, Kokoda? Can you balance? Can you do that one trend that they have in Japan where you hold drinks between your boobs? Oh. You did good. Let me head the boot. Congratulations. I cannot pat here though, cause Sony. Oh, blah blah yes. Oh yeah, good job. You're really giving it your all, aren't you, Coconut? Which is cute. I pat Coconut, who's got a pleased look on her face. Let me do that again. Poop. Ah, come on. You were pleased last time. Why are you being, why are you being such a poopy butt? Yes, I don't have a... Oh. Well, I better thank her later. Uh-oh, are you about to go in a heat? She rubs her cheeks across my chest, and then she gets a good deep whiff of my manliness. I guess a cat girl is a cat girl even if she's huge in many departments. Unlike Chocolate and Vanilla, she has a very womanly figure. Now I'm starting to notice, as in Cash, is starting to notice, she's got a really ample bust and shapely butt, too. I've started really seeing her more as a woman. She's quite a tr- <laughs> Wait, no! Stop it! Oh! No matter how you look at it, Coconut's just a naive kitten. Shiguri might have been trying to push you in that direction yesterday, but that still doesn't mean you should start looking at her like that, Kasho. Referring to myself in the third person makes me a bad guy. I scold myself internally. <laughs> Nothing. I'm going to be awkward the entire day now because I notice boobs and butts. Huh? What are you talking about? You don't understand. No. No, 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 no. Head back. God damn it! Okay, fine, you don't want me to. She looks up at me with eyes full of concern. Her face is so innocent. Guilt begins to tear at my heart. I take a deep breath to try and hide what I'm thinking from Coconut. I gently stroke her once more. There's no way I'd hate it when you're playful, you know? It's cute, but I was just a little embarrassed. Really? Well, not anymore after these lewd thoughts came into my brain hole. Especially when you call me Oni-chan. <laughs> she rubs her whole body against me without even a hint of shame. Damn. This is just a cat girl's a play of affection, right? It's how a cat girl shows her love. It's just how she shows her love. She's soft and supple no matter where I touch. I try to drive away my impure thoughts by cautioning myself over and over again in my head like I'm chanting a spell. But you already have the pure thoughts, bro. Oh, great. She's gonna... No, I will distract you. <laughs> take take that. How about you? I will distract you from what you're doing. God damn it! You're not liking my head. Fine, what about this? Belly rub. No! How about you, belly rub? You like it. You don't like anything I do when I'm sad. Okay, never mind. You did it. Congratulations. Blah, 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 blah. Eventually, eventually, everyone wants to be patted in the butthole. Okay. Oh boy. We're gonna do some stuff. Hey, don't just force me to pet you both now. Chocolate and Coconut coil around me. Do you smell something? 
Do you smell my jizz? <laughs> or do you smell her jizz? <laughs> Let me just test something really quick. What is it? Chocolate disentangles herself from me and latches onto coconut. She squeezes coconut several times. Almost as though she's not quite sure what she's feeling. <laughs> no, you're not gonna understand. It's gonna be like, what's wrong? And then you're in heat. And then what is heat? <laughs> oh my god. That's it. Well, everyone's horny now. Oh man, now you're gonna get my opinion in here? Or you're gonna ask for. Well, yeah, because vanilla is a board, but you still got some, so. I think, isn't this, isn't this one of those things where, like, freaking when a woman compliments whatever, it's so like, oh, okay, thanks, but then once a guy does it, it's so like, no! Echi! Coconut watches in amazement as Chocolate bounces around in excitement, but gets more and more worn out with each hug. Well, it's not like I wasn't thinking about their differences a minute ago. I guess I can understand how Chocolate feels. Uh, what else do you feel, or sense? Ah, oh, shit. No, I'm not. Looks down. Damn it! Distraction time. Distract. Fuck. They're on to me. And my bulge? Oh, man. I can't deny that. You know what it means. She looks at me as her eyes widen and face turns bright red. No, no, I wasn't looking at you like that, okay? An awkward pause hangs in the air. Well, I guess you could argue that I was leering at her, but... It's not like I wasn't able to control myself, right? The hormones, man! Um, I guess I should say something. Her boobs! Fuck! But thanks to these unexpected developments, I'm left speechless. No, don't don't be saying like no, you weren't doing that at all, right? Because I'm an ugly son of a douchebag who can never be loved, and then I'll be like, no. no. Uh, no. No. Uh, no. Now I have to spill the beans. Uh, No, now I'm gonna, now I'm gonna say everything. Spill everything, Casho. Why does she keep torching herself like this? No, I didn't mean anything like that. Yes, it is true. Observe. As you look down, right as I say that. Yes, look at how excited I am. Yes, do you think differently of me? <laughs> yes. Sure? I blurt out something I didn't mean to say while I had a loss for words again. Yeah, I'm pretty... That makes it sound like, sure, okay, yeah. She looks up at me again, her eyes both troubled and happy. She stares at me as she plays with her fingers. No, I... I didn't mean to make it seem like I was looking at her that way. I was just trying to be careful so that it wouldn't look like I was. I mean, Coconut is innocent, sincere, and certainly still a little cat girl. But she has the figure of a pinup model. My eyes cloud over a bit. Coconut's face seems to have become extremely attractive, god damn. Before I realize it, I'm checking her out. Up and down. Uh, super sexy, sexy. Uh, it's, it's during work hours, though, so, uh, head pad. <laughs> she gets it. But yes, blah, 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 blah. Yes, I'm pretty sure they switched the dialogue. Yes, in the pit of my gut and balls. 
Don't say crude things like that. Shut the fuck up! I clap a hand over Chocolate's mouth before she could say anything more. I take a deep breath and look at Coconut sternly. Why don't we just forget about this whole thing for now? We'll think about it after work, and then we'll deal with our pent-up stress. Let's all focus back on task. We're still at work here, exactly. Coconut, if you know how to do the receipts for the online orders now, would you mind taking care of the shipping address as well? Shit, now she's gonna be all super flustered and fuck everything up. Okay, goodbye. Go do that. With an awkward nod, she runs out to the storefront. <sighs> Chocolat! Now that I've noticed, I can't unsee it. <laughs> Originally, I just thought she was cute and friendly. But now that I'm aware of her body, it's all I can do to avert my eyes. And now both Shiguri and Chocola are trying to spur me on. What a headache. Hmm? Chocola. I look over at the cat girl who has suddenly gone silent. I suffocated her. Here, head pat. She doesn't give two fucks because she I'm choking her. With that with that powder. Just breathe. Nope. Oh, I skipped a little ding. I'm sad. C crap. Sorry, Chocola. I didn't realize I put my hand over your nose too. Stay with me! Stay with me, Chogla. Sorry, I was thinking of, uh, frickin', what was it? Invader Zim. That episode. Uh, Bad Bad Rubber Piggy, that's what it was. I almost just ended my beloved companion's life. I'm sorry, Chogla. I'm sorry. Nighttime. Let's see what, what goes on here. Also, I have no idea how long this episode's gone on for, but... Do I want to end it? I don't know. Okay, cool, thank you. Actually, I think I will probably end the episode right here, because I don't know what's going on, I don't know how long the next thing's going to be, but yeah, I'll just end it here. So yeah, thanks for watching, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe too if you want. Also, since I never really said it before, that notification button or whatever else, if you want to keep up with things and stuff, yeah, hit that if you want to as well. Yeah, until then, this is Dorkin86 signing off with the Campaigns of Doom Death.